Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing this eye look using Coastal Scent along with a review on the Coastal Scents products. I've also used Coastal Scents Cheek and Bronzer Palette for this look. So if you wanna see this eye tutorial and a Coastal Scents review, please stay tuned. Let's get started. I'm gonna take a nice fluffy brush and we're gonna start out with this beautiful nude color and use that as our base so that we can build color on top of it and blend. As you can see, I've already started with my face prepped, primed, powdered lips on and cheeks done. We're gonna be building some color. I wanna use a red today. Very excited. And we are going to use pumpkin spice. And for the fall, who doesn't love some pumpkin spice? So we're gonna start a little lower. And as you can see from the first brush, these Coastal Scent eyeshadows are extremely pigmented. And for their sale, I got these while they were on sale for 99 cents. Who doesn't love a highly pigmented eyeshadow for 99 cents? So we started low and we're going to blend this up so that we get a nice faded look. So as you can see, the color starts out darker here and fades. Speaking of fall, we are going to go in with this next darker color, and this one is called Oatmeal Spice. And we're going to take Oatmeal Spice right over the pumpkin color to darken that up, and we're going to softly blend that up. Again, we're creating a nice dark to light. And as you work your way up, you want to start lightening your pressure on your brush. So if you do start a little heavy handed, as you're blending, just start releasing. Now's a good time to go in with a good blending brush. This one's from Morphe. It's one of my favorites. It's a 510. I use it for blending because I like how much coverage it gives. And I just feel like this 510 brush works great. I've seen other people use this 510 brush and use it for their highlighter. So this 510 brush is actually nice and versatile. After the quick blend, we are going to go in, and if you notice, I've used the same brush. Um, I'm going to go in to, with this color here, and this is called Chocolatier. I like to do the, a little circular motion here. To, as I'm building up this outer corner. Gives a nice good shape to blend from. I'm going to use Makeup Geeks to find crease brush and I'm going to use that same chocolatier and work in on the crease. I'm going to go back with my Morphe brush and just smooth that out, removing any harsh lines. Remember ladies, you can always add more product, which is what we're going to do in a moment with the oatmeal spice, but it's easier to add more color on than it is to try to lighten the color. So don't be afraid of blending if you blend off you can always add more. I'm gonna go in just a tad bit with some of the oatmeal spice and pop in a little bit more along that line and sweep back over with the blending brush. 
And I'm just building the colors where I'd like to see them be. So that this look doesn't get too blah and we're gonna add a bit of color and pop. We are going to go in with the vibrant red. I'm gonna use this on a flat brush to give the most payoff. But as you can see, this vibrant bread look, bread? This vibrant red looks amazing in the palette, so let's see how it does on the eye. I think the vibrant red did remarkably well. Again, this is 99 cents. I did not use a MAC setting spray or fix, fix it spray. So this is actually just going on true dry from the palette. I'm gonna go back with the nude on a nice pencil brush and pop that back on the top of the eyelid. And right up underneath the eyebrow. I'm going in with the brush that I used with the oatmeal earlier and I'm just going to lightly tap or excuse me brush back and forth along that red line meeting the vibrant bread bread there I go again the vibrant red meeting the nude color I'm gonna take our my L'Oreal Espresso and work that in on the lower line I'm gonna take, this is a Morphe 321 brush with the Oatmeal Spice. And I'm gonna use that, that as my first color along the base of my eyelid. Because I like smoky eyes. I will then use the Morphe 431 brush Going back with the Chocolatier. And moving this more along the lash line. Blending out the L'Oreal Espresso. And you'll see that that just warms up the eye a little bit more, but we still have a little bit of the oatmeal that is softening the Chocolatier. So I usually go in if I'm gonna layer my under eye colors, I usually go in with the lighter color on a thicker brush, so that that gives me a good base. Then I'll take the darker color, go along the lash line, and if I see that the makeup has gone down too far, I can always clean that up. But I do like, again, that, that variated look from light to dark, where here we went dark to light. I'm going to take the L'Oreal Espresso and I'm going to use this along the upper lash line. I love this e.l.f. brush that's nice, fine pointed, and it's bent to make it a little bit easier to apply your eyeliner. I like to start from the outer corner going in so it does take a bit of the product out. Alf, that's a new word. Right there, you're gonna use it, you're gonna run with it, and you're gonna, it's gonna be a new fad. So it's, um, we're gonna get the product off. And what's left on the brush is what we'll use to make a finer line on the inner corner. You guys have heard me talk about the Espresso, or the, excuse me, the L'Oreal. I like it because my eyes water a lot and this doesn't tend to shift or move. And goodness knows I've spent a small fortune trying to see which ones work the best.
Maybelline Last Lash Lush Lush Sensational. It is waterproof and I like that for the lower lash line. And it's Lash Sensational. I am having a hard time speaking today. Obviously, not enough coffee. We're gonna use the little Makeup Forever Excessive Lash. I got this in one of the beauty boxes from one of the beauty subscriptions. I'm just gonna coat my own lashes, a nice light coat, basically just to color them and give my lashes something or the false lashes something to it. There's your winky cast. I recently came across Coastal Scents from a friend and they recommended me trying the different colors. So Coastal Scents had a sale and they were 99 cents a piece. Who could turn down 99 cents for each one of these pans? So I decided to jump in. I bought 37 of them, $37, and basically put together these two eye palettes. Then it was kind of interesting. About a few weeks later, maybe a month later, in one of the beauty subscription boxes, I got their cheek and bronzer palette. So I thought, well, this will be perfect to put together an eye look and a review and see and give you guys kind of an idea of what these look like. So as far as the review goes on the eyeshadows, absolutely love them. I've used them a couple times, obviously off camera, just to see how well they blended, they built up, if the colors were vibrant. And I will tell you, I've not been disappointed. For ladies on a budget or ladies that like highly pigmented eyeshadows, I would recommend these. So we're gonna go ahead and do a swatch test on some of the bright colors so that you can see what these do. So I'm gonna take these first two colors here. As you can see, they give a good payoff. We are now going to go with the pinks and the magenta. And I'll swatch those right next to these. And again, you can see how well these are pigmented. So I just wanted to do a quick swatch test using some of the brighter ones so that you could see how well that those perform. I do enjoy matte eyeshadows better, but I did want to see what one would look like that has a bit of sparkle in it. So we will do the yellowish and the blue color. And you know what, swatch test is, swatch test is, swatch tests are hard to do. So you can see that that blue even has a really good payoff. So let me switch my arm around so you can see those. And I'll go ahead and link the colors that I use today on the eye look and from the swatch test so you can see which colors these are. Now let's go over to the blush and bronzer palette. So on the back of the blush and bronzer palette, they don't have the name, but this is the blush and bronzer mini palette by Coastal Scents. So we will take the top two colors here. You can kind of see the colors. The lighter one is actually what I use today and I didn't use very much and it was pretty pigmented. The darker color, I still really shocked. I thought that this would have a better swatch payoff and it it's actually kind of disappointing. As far as the bronzers, I used this one today, basically here, and I darkened up around the outer part of the face. And then I used this highlighter color underneath and on the cheek. So as you can tell, and I did a little bit right there, so the, the lighter color here does highlight, but doesn't go over the top with um, sparkle and shine like some of the other highlighting palettes. So this one for ladies that do, don't like a in your face highlighter, this one's for you. So let's go ahead and swatch both of these bronze colors here. And they swatch well. 
I'll go ahead and do the highlighter, but um, as white as my skin is, I'm not sure that that's really gonna show very well. I'll try to put that right next to it. So again, I'm so white that that highlighter just kind of blends in and not really sure that you can see much. Um, as far as my review goes, would I repurchase these items from Coastal Scents? Absolutely. I do plan on purchasing some more in the shimmer because I, I do want to see how well those those stand up. But Coastal Scents, I think you've done a great job with your pigmentation. I think you've done a wonderful job with the formula that it blends well. The price point is absolutely unbelievable. So for you ladies that enjoy a inexpensive product with a high payoff, Coastal Scents is something I would love for you to try. And if you have used Coastal Scents, and you have your opinion on what you've used, please put those comments below because I am excited to hear any feedback on some of these products and just would really like to hear your opinions. So for my recommendation, I do give this a two thumbs up. So thank you again, Coastal Sense. I think you've done a great job at a wonderful price point. Keep it up. Thank you for joining me and putting together this look. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. Thank you again for watching and don't forget to make it a beautiful day. Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and today I'm going to be doing a review on Coastal Scents. The, the, <clears throat>